Welcome back to another lesson brought to you by Bugman Productions. Um, if there's one thing I've noticed uh, in the machine shop or here at school out in the shop is that people struggle uh, with reading decimals like we, or uh, running down decimals like we would in a machine shop. So this lesson I'll be explaining how to write them and read them out loud. So here we have point one. That is one hundred thousandths. Uh, when I say one hundred thousandths, I'm saying I have one hundred thousandths of an inch. That would be point one. That's the first decimal place here. Go here, I got point zero one. That's ten thousandths, so I have ten thousandths of an inch. Um, now something I forgot to say is I could put twenty zeros after this point one and it's still one hundred thousandths of an inch. I could put thirty zeros after this point zero one and it's still ten thousandths of an inch. So now we get down here to the third decimal place and I have point zero zero one. That's one thousandths of an inch. Get down here to the fourth decimal place, and I have 0 .0001, and that means I have one tenth of an inch. So now to give you guys some examples, I'm going to say I have you want me to write down five hundred thousandths. Five hundred thousandths, by the way, is a half an inch, but that would look something like this: 0 0.5. That's five hundred thousandths of an inch. Now I can write. Two more zeros after it, it's still five hundred thousandths of an inch. Right, one more, it's still five hundred thousandths. Uh, if you wanted, say, uh, six hundred twenty-five thousandths, that would look like that. Six hundred twenty-five thousandths. Uh, if you wanted, let's say, eight thousandths. That's eight thousandths of an inch. Um, if you wanted, say, three tenths, that's three tenths. Uh, if you wanted uh, forty-five thousandths, that's what forty-five thousandths would look like. Point zero four five. Uh, if you wanted. Seven hundred thousandths. That's seven hundred thousandths, even though I have all these zeros. Or if you wanted to make it easy, you could just write uh, point seven. That is also seven hundred thousandths. Uh, if I wanted, let's say, one inch and five thousandths, it would look like. Like that, you got one one, a decimal, and five thousandths. Uh, say I wanted one and a half inches, which is one point uh, one inch and five hundred thousandths. It would look like this. One point five. Oh, that could also be said as one inch and five hundred thousandths. Um, I could go on and on with all these examples. I hope you get the point though. Um, and if you don't, feel free to message me or leave a comment. Um, I'll be happy to do some further explaining or even come out with another video if, um, if you'd like. Um, but other than that, have a great rest of your day and practice.